Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do an example with the beam element. It's the exact same process as the truss element, which we've looked at before. So essentially, we're going to define the degrees of freedom and location vector. We're then going to develop a stiffness matrix for each member. We're then going to develop a stiffness matrix and equations for, for um, the whole system. We're then going to solve for the unknown displacements, then for the unknown forces. We're then going to check equilibrium, and then we're going to find the local forces Q. Now, this is our problem. We have... It's a propped cantilever with two roller supports. We have a 10 kilonewton load here, 10, kilonewton, 10 kilonewtons moment applied at this end. So what we need to do is, is you can see we're going to look at two members. We're going to look at that beam there and that beam there. We always look at the members between supports. So we're going to first of all just call this member one and we'll call this member two. Now I'm going to select a location vector. Once again, you can choose whatever location vector you want. I'm going to go this way though. So there's my location vector from there to there and from there to there. Now we need to define our degrees of freedom. So just like the truss problem, you always want to label your degrees of freedom where the ones which are free to move, you label them first. So we know with the beam element, we saw in the previous video, that the beam element has vertical and moment. That's where you put the degrees of freedom at, at vertical and moments. So where can this rotate? This can rotate at that point and at that point. A roller doesn't um, resist rotation, but every single support resists vertical. That can, that can resist vertical, that can resist vertical, and that can resist vertical. So let's just first draw in all our degrees of freedom. So we know we have verticals. I'm going to define my moments going anti-clockwise, and now we're going to label. So once again, these are free to rotate. So I'm going to label them doesn't matter what order, one and two. That could be one, sorry, that could be two and that could be one, or that can be one and that can be two. It doesn't matter. As long as you label them first, one and two, and you'll see why in a second. Now, that's all our ones which are free to rotate. Every other one is restrained. 